Welcome back. We're Paul and Tan and we'd love for you to join us on our adventures in our troopie. In our last video we took the tracks out to Steep Point and put the troopie on a barge to Dirk Hartog Island. And in this video, join us as we explore what this place has to offer. We seem to be heading toward the storm, but needed to get here early so that we could cross over via the barge. Knowing that the weather was going to get rough, we were recommended to camp up for the night at Sunday Island Bay, which might be more protected. Clouds grew gloomier as the day went on, and late afternoon it absolutely hit. We bunkered down early for a cracker of a storm. The next morning after practically no sleep, we packed down some pretty soggy rooftop tents and awnings. The homestead was our next stop, heading off early and fingers crossed for an improvement in the weather. This place is vast and the landscape can be quite unforgiving at times, but we were so excited to actually be on the island. Due to the impending weather, the place was pretty quiet, so we were able to find a suitable campsite with some hot showers, toilets and a great camp kitchen too. It felt like luxury.
day three on the island and the weather has made a surprising turnaround. Time to explore some of the local spots near the homestead. First stop, Surf Point on the west side. Slightly further north, also on the west side, we encountered some pretty spectacular sand dunes and cliff tops that would take your breath away. Known as the blowholes, we didn't actually see any blowhole action, but the view was perfect anyway.
day four, and after another pretty chilled night at the homestead, it was time to spread our wings further afield and hit the tracks north to our first off-grid camp spot for a couple of nights, Louisa Bay, which is about halfway up the east side of the island. We spent a pretty relaxing couple of days here, just fishing and chilling, which was the whole reason for the trip. We'd have to say that the colours of this place were an absolute highlight. From the white sandy beaches to the golden sunsets, this island has so much to offer and we couldn't wait to see what else was in store for us. Day six, and as we packed down once again, the convoy headed off further north, but via the long way round. In our next video, join us as we tackle the west side, which is known for its rugged and wild coastline. And we settle for a few nights at our absolute favorite spot on the entire island. Thanks for watching, and we hope you've enjoyed our latest video. If you've got any questions, please drop us a comment below. As always, we'd really appreciate it if you could give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to follow along on our trippy adventures. Cheers!